Do you like banana pudding but hate bananas? Girl, I got you. Today, we're going to be making a really good alternative. We are making a no-bake strawberry pudding. Mm -hmm. Y'all heard me. We are not using bananas at all. We're using strawberries. And I'm going to be showing you a very quick way to make it. This makes the perfect make-ahead dessert that you can make overnight and enjoy totally. And y'all, first of all, I am so happy to be back. We are back to regular programming. I was away in Africa for over two weeks, but I am officially back to base. And y'all, let's get back into it. So yeah, of course, I'm going to be starting with some cream cheese. Y'all, you can use four ounces of cream cheese and it will be perfect. I ended up using the whole eight ounce um, block, but the four ounce is perfect. And you will also need some instant vanilla pudding mix and as well as other ingredients that I'm going to be putting in. We're going to be using some cold milk, as you guys already know. And I like to use whole milk, but you can use 2% or any type of milk that you prefer. Yeah, so you would need one and a half cups of cold milk. And that goes in there. And please don't do what I did. I did not even beat my cream cheese first. I just dumped out all my ingredients because I was just in such a hurry. But y'all, please try and cream uh, the cream cheese first before adding in the other ingredients. It just makes it less of a mess. And I just took a longer time trying to mix everything as you guys can see. So yeah, cream the cream cheese first and then add the other ingredients as you can see and just you want to mix this until it is lump free and really smooth. Now, to boost up the sweetness, I am going to be adding half um, a can of the sweetened condensed milk. So that's about seven ounces of sweetened condensed milk. That's just going to add the perfect balance and sweetness to all of this. It is so delicious. Very similar to my um, no-bake banana pudding, which I already have on the channel and I would leave in the description box below. As you can see, I am just trying to beat this so that it is as nice and as smooth as possible that only took about a few minutes with my hand mixer and if this is your first time coming across this channel i want to say a warm welcome i hope you like it over here do consider subscribing and joining the family now that my mixture is nice and creamy it is time to fold in half of this cool whip this is an eight ounce tub so we are using four ounces of that and all you want to do right now you don't want to go with your mixer or a whisk i am just going in with my spatula and just gently folding it in there this just gives it the nice fluffy consistency that i so absolutely love this process right here is my favorite part it is so satisfying so yeah just go ahead and fold the cool whip in there or better still you can make your own um whipped cream if you want now here I am opting to use a can of strawberry filling and I'm also going to be using some fresh strawberries. Combining the fresh strawberries just helps a lot. Now this trifle bowl, I'm not using it because it's so big, but I'm just giving you guys options. So I'm going in with my smaller um, glass dish today because I am not making a whole lot. Now you all know the start of the show, the vanilla wafers. In my no bake banana pudding, I use the chestnut butter cookies. Those are so delicious and still my favorite for banana pudding. But y'all say this one, just stick with the vanilla wafers and come thank me later. They are so good and so inexpensive. They're much cheaper than the vanilla wafers. I mean, the chessmen butter cookies. So yeah, I am starting off by layering the bottom of the pan with my vanilla wafers, making sure that it covers everything. Then I go in to top it up with my pudding mix, y'all. This pudding mix is so addictive. I'm just going to warn you guys right now. It is so, so good. But y'all, it makes the perfect sharing dessert. So do not be scared that you're going to eat it by yourself. Just share and you should be fine. Yeah, so I just go ahead and try to um, level that much as possible. And then I would go in with my next layer, which will be with the strawberry. I'm just tapping it down just to make it as smooth as possible. And then I go in with my strawberry filling i like this particular brand that i showed you guys which is the duncan heinz um strawberry filling strawberry pie filling and topping that's what it's called and it's a i believe it's a 21 ounce can so when i go with half of that i will also go in with some of my freshly cut strawberries 
if you don't want to use the pie filling, you could go ahead and use, take your strawberries, add a little bit of sugar and some gelatin and put it on the stove to cook down a little bit. But you all know I like to keep it simple and easy. I am giving you alternatives for that quick last minute dessert that you got to take to church, that you got to take to the office potluck or anywhere basically. So this is my alternative. So let me know what you guys uh, like to use and what would be your alternative. The next step is to go ahead and line up the strawberries with the vanilla wafers until it's covered. And I just repeat the whole process with the, the pudding mix. And then again with the strawberries until it's, I'm used, uh, I have used all of my ingredients. Y'all, this is my first video, I believe this year. Yeah, this is actually my first time filming a video for the channel for this year and it's it's march basically it's the end of february and i want to say a big thank you to you guys for just being patient with me while i was gone i took a much needed break for myself and my family and it was so good if you guys have not watched any of my videos while i was in africa i made like a seven part series it's over on my other channel my lifestyle channel which is called at home with mansa i would pop it up on the screen right here if you've not subscribed a lot of you don't even know that i have that channel or it is mine even though i share it so go ahead and check it out and enjoy all of that um all of those vlogs if you enjoy travel vlogs you would totally enjoy it so yeah as you can see i use the last half of the cool whip and just used it to cover the top of the strawberries and then i decided to go ahead and cover the top again with the leftover vanilla wafers i believe i used all of my vanilla wafers so the one box was just so perfect i used the last bits to just crush it and crumble it on the top you know just for no reason just to make it look good and y'all just like that it was done now this is best when you serve it overnight but for the purpose of this video i did not have time for that so i let it sit for about six to eight hours and this is what it looks like out of my refrigerator you can see that it has been sitting for a while and now of course to give you guys the real tea I'm going to have to dig in there and show you what, what we are working with. And y'all, this is it. Can you see that mixture? Let, let nobody tell you. Mm -hmm. When you let it sit, let me tell you. You're giving the vanilla wafers time to soak up all the moisture and sweetness and goodness from the pudding mix. And it gets soft and soggy and mm, so good y'all let me know if you guys get to try this let me know what other alternative do you have what other fruits would you like to incorporate in this type of no bake pudding as for me i really enjoy the strawberry but i must say that my banana pudding is still my favorite i love bananas personally so i do not have any problems with that let me know in the comment section below what you think and i thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch y'all in the next one bye y'all